Well, hello there. Becoming a new mum is a whirlwind, isn't it? It's like stepping onto a roller coaster in the dark. Exhilarating? Absolutely. Terrifying? You bet. One minute you're cuddling this tiny human, and the next you're trying to remember if they've slept, or eaten, or filled their nappy. That's where tracking comes in. Think of it like a roadmap for those early days. The days that blur into nights, fueled by caffeine and pure love. Jotting down routines, feeds, sleeps, nappies, creates a little black book of their needs. Even jotting down a few key things can be a game changer. It's about spotting those tiny patterns, those little quirks that make your baby unique. Are they a night owl who thrives on 2 a.m. feeds? Or a champion sleeper who likes their milk coma at dawn? This information, my friend, is power. Right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. When I say track, what exactly do I mean? Feeding frenzy. Whether you're team breast or team bottle, keeping tabs on your baby's feeds is crucial. How long are they feeding for? How much are they taking in? And how often are those hungry cries piercing the peace? Slumber party of one. Ah, sleep. Tracking naps can help you decipher their sleep patterns. Nappy tails. Nappies offer valuable insights. Keep a rough count of wet and dirty nappies. It might sound overwhelming, but start simple. Focus on one or two areas. Remember, it's about understanding your baby's needs. Now, I'm all about embracing technology. These days, there's an app for everything, right? And baby tracking is no exception. You've got your slick apps with all the bells and whistles tracking everything from feeds to naps to, dare I say it, bowel movements. But if you're more of a pen and paper kind of gal, fear not. There are some gorgeous baby journals out there, just begging to be filled with your little ones. Method that suits your lifestyle and your sanity. Because let's face it, the last thing you need is another complicated thing to add to your already overflowing plate. Section 4 Decoding the data, spotting patterns and concerns. Now, once you've gathered all this intel, what do you do with it? Well, this is where the real magic happens. By looking back at your tracking records, you can start to spot those all-important patterns in your baby's behaviour. Is there a particular time of day when they're most likely to have a meltdown? Or maybe you notice a dip in their feeding after a certain point in the day. This information can be invaluable when trying to establish a routine or troubleshoot any issues. And don't underestimate the power of sharing this information with your healthcare providers. Doctors and midwives love a good graph, you know. Having that data to hand can help them get a clearer picture of your baby's development and address any concerns you might have. Remember, you know your baby best. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, don't be afraid to seek professional advice. Section 5. You've got this, Mum. Look, I'm not going to lie, being a new mum is tough. It's a roller coaster of emotions, exhaustion, and pure, unadulterated love. But it's also the most rewarding experience in the world. Tracking your baby's development might seem like just another thing on your to-do list, but trust me, it can be a lifesaver. 
It's about empowering yourself with knowledge, understanding your little one's needs, and navigating those early days with a little more confidence. So go on, give it a try, find a method that works for you, grab your notepad or your phone, and start tracking. You've got this, Mum.